Good afternoon, everyone. Pakistan Meteorological Department comes out with the climate change impact challenges, talking about preparing their citizens for global cooling impacts. It runs down the solar cycles, and you notice on the very right side, no global warming after 2030. They also are predicting almost zero sunspots during the next solar cycle. The way forward and the needs for their society to survive when global cooling hits. In the same week, heavy snowfall cripples life in the northern areas of Pakistan. Repeating cycles, climate data and modeling analysis of the Indus region. When there's an incredibly strong El Nino, it's followed by drought in Pakistan during the La Nina, which is going to happen this year and next. And the temperatures in Lahore showing a downtrend in cooling already. If you're looking for the proof that governments know we're about to enter a grand solar minimum, which will have effects on our society, look no further than the Pakistan Meteorological Department. Their new report, Climate Change Impact and Challenges, Pakistan's Future Climate. They compare today's global warming phenomenon with tomorrow's global cooling, all based on solar cycles. They do a forecast out up to 2050 through the next solar cycle showing almost no sunspots. 2019, they show the cooling begins. They do a great job covering the sunspot numbers and the relationship to the cooling on our planet. They talk about the temperature decreases as well as the rainfall decreases associated with this in Pakistan. Temperature trends downward. They go into the Maunder Minimum, the Dalton Minimum, and most importantly, they give a way forward as a warning against global cooling, what they will have to do and how their society will need to adapt to survive. This was incredibly well done. Kudos to Hanif for putting this out. And this should be a wake up call for all of you out there sitting on the fence that this is the now the second government on our planet telling its citizens there is a grand solar minimum coming that will affect society. Serious and urgent action is needed. Russia is the first that I know of. This is the second. During the same period, heavy snowfalls crippled life in the northern areas. Some great images here from Sama TV. Just showing you the conditions. Some of the depths of the snowfall. Trying to drive through the roads in this area. A little bit mountainous yet unprecedented snowfall. Now when forecasting out, as I searched through the net for more information on the report that was put out, I came across a couple different PDFs. One of them was the climate data modeling analysis of the Indus region. Now I circled in yellow after the most severe El Ninos in the last 50 years. And you'll see a pattern after an extreme El Nino event it's followed by drought when La Nina kicks in, 1972, 1999, 2016, 17, and 18. So expect Pakistan to go into a severe drought that would mimic something in the 1970s or late 1990s. This is based on the chart I put together here and continued and forecast out through 2019, an exact drop off with equal parallels of the 1970s. Again, looking for more data, is it signaling a cooling, climate change and river flow and partially glacierized Himalayan catchments, Lahore, downward trend on the temperatures since 1920. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This was an exciting day for me to find this information. I'm absolutely, without a doubt, 1000% convinced that this is in play right now. And this is why the world is having such a tumultuous time. The governments are just letting everything go because there will be not much salvageable in our current society. You might want to think about your plan B right about now.